Hello, uh, my name is George Vina. I'm uh, uh, one of the, the partners at the Oxygen and Semenda one of the founders of the company. Uh, and uh, I'll show you uh, some of the support that we have for Tita. And uh, uh, what is Oxygen? Uh, we started in uh, 2001 and uh, uh, Oxygen was mainly a development tool for uh, XML. And we cover all schema languages, uh, XSLT and XQuery, including uh, XSLT 12, uh, including debuggers, possibility to transform with the uh, uh, style sheets to transform uh, to run XQuery against XML databases. A lot of development. We, we basically cover all all that's development in the XML area. And uh, we added also support for XML authoring. Uh, we provide visual editing based on CSS style sheets. We support for uh, tables, links, images, uh, folding. Uh, and we provide then, uh, specific support for a number of development frameworks. Pita, Dago, PI, XHTML, and uh, a few others. And uh, all this support is not hard coding in Oxygen. It's just built uh, and can be extended, and uh, the same support can be added for another vocabulary. Oxygen also has support for publishing to PDF, XHTML, and other formats. It is a multi platform product, and works on the Mac. Windows, on uh, Linux, and it's available as a standalone application and also as an Eclipse plugin. Data support. We have both out of the box, out of the box support and support for specialization. Uh, visual editing, uh, we support uh, references and links. Tables, we provide a special editor for the data map manager. We integrate the latest data open toolkit and actually Oxygen can work with multiple open toolkits and multiple versions. And we provide for configuration and extensibility. And I will get uh, to the Oxygen demo. So fir first I will show you uh, a complete Creating a map, a token, and getting the output. Data uh, Hello World application, basically. How, how you can do that in Oxygen? I have an empty folder here. I create a new file. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a number of templates, of document templates. So you can create either a document or choose from a template and this creates a, a map. Uh, actually these templates can be provided by users so it's just a folder when you find different templates for data maps. So if, if you have, let's say, you need to have already some information in the map, some topics in the map, you can do that easily. This allows to choose from available topics, but I will just enter here the topic name. It doesn't exist, so I will just create it. Then I can edit. So I hit enter the other proposals. I create a transformation. Uh, we have the concept of transformation scenarios. We had this in the development part. 
when we you create scenarios to convert XML with a pair of different style sheets, for instance, and get a different output. And we move this also to the algorithm tool. And we have, uh, when you create a, a transformation scenario, you, you can choose uh, to, to build that on, on one of the defined the, the scenarios in oxygen. And let, let's say I, I choose this one. We have support for multiple FOP processors. Uh, I, I have XEP and uh, Apache 4 is built in Oxygen. And then you can configure different parameters. But uh, I'll, I'll just select, select the, the default scenario on uh, transform. Here, uh, it's, Oxygen shows the uh, data output, toolkit output. So if something goes wrong, you can see what problems what problem was and uh, try to fix that. And uh, there we have also the uh, the command line that runs the transformation in case you want to take that and run it from a command line. And here, here you get the, the PDF output from that. So it, it takes basically starting with it up and oxygen it takes two minutes. Uh, next support for specializations. I have here uh, Elliot Kimber's tutorial, and uh, he has uh, uh, a, a question specialization, a question and answer specialization. Uh, these are the DTB files. And you can notice that uh, we have some errors in this file, right? In the mod file. And this problem is not only with DTDs, but with XML in general and the XSLT style sheets. There are cases where modules are not valid by themselves, but they are valid in the context they are used from. And uh, we solve this problem, for instance, by uh, adding validation scenarios. Uh, <coughs> And I, I can say, for instance, okay, don't validate the module file. Uh, just validate the, 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 the DTD that includes that. Right. And the file get, is, is validated in the context it is used from, instead of uh, you know, getting those uh, validation errors. So Oxygen allows you to work also to create the data specializations. But what it takes to... Um, so here we have a file that refers to the DTD directly. If I switch this to the outdoor, you, you notice that there are no data elements here, right? But if I switch this to the outdoor, I get the, the data support. Because uh, the, uh, the, the default attributes from the DTD allows Oxygen to determine that it's data. The DTD defines the data art uh, uh, version attribute and Oxygen automatically de detects that data. But uh, if we have this document that doesn't, that specify uh, a different system ID, Oxygen cannot, cannot uh, know that is data, right? And the only thing that you need to do for, uh, for integrating a specialization in Oxygen is to set uh, the XML catalog. So here is the catalog that maps that system ID to, to, to the actual DTD. And I will copy the location of this file. And I will put this in the, in the open toolkit catalog. Oxygen to allow both Oxygen and the open toolkit to, to see the data so that we make a change once and we, get, we, we have this working also for the transformation and for the operating part. Uh, 